Okay, so next in line is the popular gate. <laughs> yes, so we are going to do this. And that will be the last one for this exercise. I kept this for last so that you do not suffer or waste time doing this. You do this easily and then you come here. So we are done with all this. We are going to wrap up with this. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> Let me place the book here so I can see the dimensions. Okay, so we're going to draw this gate extremely fast, so please pay attention. So I have my line. Let me check if you can see it. Okay, you can't really see that, so I would have to make that line again. Yeah, then I would erect vertical line. Then you realize that you have intervals of 8, 16, 16 to the end. So that is how the wall is. But I realize that inside the wall, this the brick wall, the bricks are 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. It's a trick I'm going to show you so that you can quickly draw it. Now the height of this is supposed to be 128. So that's 12.8, which is a bit out of my range, but I would try and squeeze it in. Okay, so twelve point eight, roughly there. All right, that's not a straight line. So this should be twelve point eight. And realize that if you are doing this with thin lines, there will not be a need to clean. Okay, so then I would count sixteen plus sixteen. That's 32 plus 8, so I measure 14. And I put my mark. Then I'm going to draw a quick vertical one. I'm going to draw. So I guess this I divided this line into eight. Then also 128 intervals of 8 all the way to the top.
then you are going to draw horizontal lines now just to make your work easily e very easy you are just going to draw them across Okay, so you see that you have your lines going across. Reason being that you will draw these parts of the gate and then you draw the other side. For this exercise, I'm only going to do half. Reason being that my paper is small, I would not be able to do all. So after you do the first half, you use that same principle to draw the other half. It's not difficult, it's actually very easy. So from there, what you are going to do is you realize that your bricks are not all in the same. Like, they are not all the same sizes. So you are going to use your deep pen, pencil, sorry. And you are going to mark out the deep ones from the light ones. So this is actually light, supposed to be light, but because you cannot see, I always keep saying this. These are supposed to be light. This is my deep pencil. So I'm going to do that quickly for you to see. To make the work faster, I'm going to use my free hand. Please, you are not to use free hand, you are to use your instruments. Please take note. So you realize that we have quickly been able to replicate that so from there we are going to draw the top part now you realize the dimensions for the top part were not given totally especially the that is the okay they were given actually they were given because you realize from here to here is four so you just mark out four on both sides four here and four here then you draw vertically now you realize that when i'm drawing my vertical lines i always use the instruments i don't measure and draw again i just use the instruments okay then i know this is eight so i measure out eight eight oh wow then i just mark then I quickly mark out this one like that. Okay. Then from there, you realize you will draw one more rectangle on top with a thickness of four. So four here and four 
there. So you just draw, or you can just measure four ones and just draw. Then from there, halfway of that, that is half of this 40. This 40 that you measured here at first. If you start at one, it ends at five. So three is halfway. So I'm going to draw upwards. Now those who have been very quick, you realize that I have added, I've, I had to put another sheet on top so that I can finish the work. If not, my sheet is so small, so I can't. So I had, I had to tape another sheet to the top of this, just so that I can continue drawing upwards. So after fi fixing this, the radius is 12, that's 1.2. This I would measure directly. 1.2. Then I would stand in the center and then inscribe the arc. Now the dimensions for this were not given. There is small rectangle under. So you would assume four four for both sides. And then draw. Okay, then using your deep pencil, so that's how you get the first post of the gate. I'm going to divide this into two, like I said, and just do the other half. You realize that this is the end of my drawing board. The other gate would certainly not fit. This is where my drawing board ends. Okay, so I'm just going to do the other half. And then you would have to just mirror what you have done here. So you just continue to the end. Okay. So at this level of eight... And even the next level of 16, you're going to have the sticks of the gates. And then after, you're going to have a short bar that goes through. So you realize that you have a space 4 mm. From here to here. From here to here. Then you have 8 going all the way. So you have 8, 8. So you are going to have to create the wooden sticks for the gate. So it's going to go all the way up, but then they have a height. So the height is from here. The total height has been given here as 72. That is from here to here. So 7.2 from the base so from here you're going to have to measure four up here and then you mark you draw across okay then you now measure 7.2 now for 7.2 i would have to extend these lines uh, That will bring us to the top here. Then 1.6 upwards. Should land us at 7.2 you would go 4 again thank you then before you would go another 8 which is this then 1.6 which should land you here okay then from there between this halfway of that that's you measure 4 
so at this point you realize we have drawn one full side of the gate and we have also included the stakes which we have which we showed i showed how to draw so this is the end of my sheet i would not be able to technically i need two more and that's the end so you would have to do the rest yourself but mainly once you can draw this and draw that you can carry on the work so i'm going to deepen just this section out and you see how it should turn out and so you realize this is how the gate is supposed to be so this is half of it in another time i might be able to look for a bigger board and draw it for you but for now once you can draw this it is much easier to draw the other side you just carry on the same dimensions to the other side and you are done